to Automotive One, your number one automotive channel. 2019 Toyota Avalon Hybrid. Will a single be comfortable, lively, and effective at the same time? Any individual who has ever endeavored to play a bop it can reveal to you that multitasking isn't simple. So this specific form of the new 2019 Toyota Avalon that we've quite recently tried appears to have the odds don't look good for it. The inconsistencies start with the mix of the game tuned XSE trim with the discretionary gas electric half and half drive train that is less great than the standard 3.5 liter V6. What's more, as the biggest vehicle in Toyota's portfolio, the Avalon's notoriety is that of a major, cushy cruiser that has normally carried support with a developed proprietor base. Any individual who has ever endeavored to play Baka can disclose to you that multitasking isn't simple. So this specific variant of the new 2019 Toyota Avalon that we've quite recently tried appears to have the odds don't look good for it. The logical inconsistencies start with the blend of the game to index SE trim with the discretionary gas electric half-breed drive train that is less great than the standard 3.5-liter V6. What's more, as the biggest car in Toyota's portfolio, the Avalon's notoriety is that of a major, cushy cruiser that has ordinarily carried support with a developed proprietor base. Seen from the front, plainly the new Avalon wouldn't like to be viewed as cushy any longer. All adaptations have a monstrous grill with entertaining the expansive artificial air admissions flanking the Lexus-like squeezed focus area, and the XSE trim misrepresents it with a dark honeycomb work embed. Why, Toyota? A customarily estimated grill would agree much better with whatever is left of the Avalon's lines, which are entirely rich. Unpretentious side surfacing stress is the Otter's 195.9 inch length, and the tenderly inclining, fastback like back glass knee cruises pleasantly into the back deck, underneath which is an alluring full width tail by treatment. Enormous bone. Presently riding on an indistinguishable TNGA engineering from the most current Camry, the Avalon remains impressively bigger than that well known mid sizer. The wheelbase is extended about 2 inches, and general length is around 3 inches more prominent. This auto was just 62 pounds heavier than the latest Camry mixture we tried, in any case, albeit both of these new age Toyota vehicles are portlier than their antecedents. Our test illustration weighed 83 pounds in excess of a 2016 Avalon crossbreed we tried. Toyota guarantees more power from the half-breed drivetrain, the refreshed 2.5-liter Atkinson cycle inline 4 and 2 electric engines make a consolidated 215 strength, 15 horses more than previously, however speeding up to 60 miles per hour is still moderated by 0.4 second contrasted with that 2016 model, now taking 7.8 seconds. Truly, the electric engine's torque makes for splendidly sufficient reactions in regular driving, and the four barrels rambling under harder speeding up is preferred confined over before to a rear. Be that as it may, plainly the V6-fueled Avalon is a superior decision for lead foots, that auto hit a similar 60 mile per hour stamp in an altogether speedier 6.1 seconds, and it makes a satisfying clamor to boot. No matter how you look at it. The EPA gauges 43 miles per gallon for its city, throughway, and consolidated cycles, and beyond any doubt enough, we accomplished precisely 43 miles per gallon in our 75 mile per hour parkway mileage test, 4 miles per gallon superior to a past gen Avalon crossbreed oversaw. Our general normal of 41 miles per gallon is similarly amazing for such a substantial and extensive vehicle. Palatial back seat space is something we anticipate from a vehicle of this stature, and the Avalon does not frustrate. There's a lot of stretch out room back there, and the seats are very much molded to oblige grown ups. Things aren't exactly as blushing in advance, as the expansive and prominent focus comfort limits the driver and traveler fairly, evacuating any feeling of airiness. We have less dissensions about the material's choice and dashboard plan, as the plastics are pleasantly grained. The softened cowhide and beds are professional, and the look is satisfying, with a vast and simple to achieve focus touchscreen flanked by plainly checked catches and handles. The Avalon is likewise Toyota's first execution of Apple CarPlay, despite the fact that Android Auto is as yet absent. Probably sport tuned suspension, which comprises of changes to the dampers, springs, and against smooth bars. 
Our test audio additionally was furnished with a redesigned sound framework for $680 and floor mats for $248, signifying an as trite aggregate of $40,848. We're frequently wary of such gentle skeleton changes when connected to standard audios, for example, the Avalon. However the XSE half and half has talented us with its firm dampening that made for tight ride movements. The mix of its dynamic controlling exertion and hardened structure makes this current Avalon is dealing with a genuinely energetic suggestion. It turns in forcefully, alters course capably, and has a secured down ride that is a long way from floaty, truth be told. We can envision the XSE's stiffer setup killing some customary Avalon customers on a test drive. The half and half 18 inch Hankook Kinergy GT tires hung on for a genuinely solid 0.85 grams, significantly superior to the 2016 Avalon Crossbreed 0.79 grams, and the auto halted from 70 miles per hour in a focused 176 feet. Despite everything, we saw a touch of unusualness in the brake pedal's reaction at low speeds inferable from the mix of pressure-driven and regenerative braking, however it's sufficiently simple to become accustomed to, and the mixing in this auto is among the best of the present product of crossovers. The logical inconsistencies introduced in this Avalon, at that point, end up being less reason for worry than they at first have all the earmarks of being. It satisfies its half-breed mission with noteworthy genuine efficiency, and the XSE treatment measures up to its somewhat energetic guarantee with forceful, if polarizing, visuals and some additional starch for the body. Despite everything we may dither before paying the $1,000 premium for the half-breed drivetrain over the V6 because of its absence of oof. However the MPG favorable circumstances imply that the forfeit might be justified, despite all the trouble for the fuel cognizant. We've left a way on with Toyota's most current lead vehicle, in the event that you can call it that, and its capacity to wear various caps while as yet remaining consistent with its main goal.